Welcome to making an existing table SQL accessible. The viewer is assumed to have a working knowledge of both CA Data Dictionary Online and CA Data Query. Even if you do not, you will still see how easy it is to accomplish. The data dictionary entities involved in the process are database, area, table, column, or field. The data dictionary attributes involved are the SQL name, the auth ID, and SQL intent indicator. The schema auth ID used in the process must already exist. Here's some sample JCL that I used to create the schema auth ID used in the demo you're about to see. I've already logged on to Data Dictionary Online, and uh, this is an index display of the database that we're going to use for the demonstration. So first I want to show you the table is not SQL accessible. And you see that the auth ID SQL name are blank, SQL intent is no. So now I will use margin commands to update the attributes to make it SQL accessible. First, the database, SQL name, and apply it. Next is the area, enter the SQL name. Then apply it. Then the table. And auth ID was the SQL demo I added using the JCL I showed you earlier. And finally, SQL intent. Then apply this. Next, I'm going to use a set command. That will fill in all the SQL names on the columns. You don't have to enter them. Data Dictionary will do it for you. So successful set. And now we're back on the database. The next thing to do is copy it to production. So I'll do the copy. I will copy it to fraud and apply it. And it's successful. Now I will get my index display back. I now have my prod. We need to enable it for data query. So I will do an enable. And we need to catalog it to the CXX. So I'll apply the enable. And then I will catalog it. So the changes are now cataloged. So we'll leave, we'll leave data dictionary. Now we need to log on to data query. And we'll need to update the profile because the Default auth ID is not correct. I will change this to SQL demo. And then I will do a list tables. And you see there is our table. So I will draw the query, SPF3, and I'm retrieving data using SQL where I could not before. That concludes the demonstration. Appreciate you watching.